Okay, good evening to all. Now, uh, the JE means exam already started. Till now, three shifts are over. That is on 27th morning shift, 27th evening shift, 28th is a Sunday, 29th morning shift. Till now, three shifts are over. So, depending upon the paper, depending upon the math, physics, chemistry subjects, how many marks we will give, how much rank, I can say what may be the cutoff. We will discuss today about paper pattern, just one or two minutes only. Expected cutoff with respect to mark, how much it may be, uh, with respect to the percentage, how much it is required. If that is cutoff indicates that for advanced attempting purpose, what is the minimum cutoff required or minimum marks required or minimum percentile required. And percentile versus rank, how much percentile will give, how much rank. And number of seats. These three four things we will discuss today. First point is paper pattern. It's clearly that 27th morning shift papers are very, very easy compared to last year. Compared to last year, papers are all easy. Physics is easiest, chemistry is moderate, and math is moderate, but only few questions are typical and lengthy. Lengthy calculation in 27th morning shift. Whereas 27th evening shift, physics chemistry almost same, but mass is a compared to morning shift of 27th, 27th evening shift mass is a little typical. Few more typical problems are there. Whereas compared to that 27th uh, paper morning and evening, 28th morning shift, sorry, 29th morning shift is a very, very hard paper. Physics chemistry almost remains same, but mass is typically less increasing. So, 29th morning shift paper is the hardest paper in which 10 to 12 questions are only reachable. Easily you can do. Whereas the remaining will be very, very lengthy calculation. Very lengthy calculation. So, depending upon this pattern, let us imagine the same thing will continue. Like this only, let us imagine today's paper comes. So, then what may be, uh, on an average, all the three papers should be considered. What may be the expected cutoff? What may be the marks? What may be the percentage, etc. We will discuss. Now, coming to first number of seats we take. Actually, by means of the means, by means of the means, we can go to the directly NITs, or we can go to triple ITs, or we can go to the central funded institute, or we are if we are qualified, you can write the IIT advanced exam and IITs we can join. So NIT. Triple IT, IIT, Central Funded Institute. Along with that, uh, so many colleges are taking the directly through the JE mains rank, they are uh, taking the admissions. So, uh, some private colleges, some uh, uh, standard institute like KLU or WIT or Amruta, these also sometimes they are giving a uh, GITAM. They are giving directly based on the JE master percentile, they are giving the seat. Not only that, in our states of Telangana and Andhra, uh, all B category seats they are filling by the JE main track. So these are the things, uh, and in which if we take IIT around 17,000 seats are there, and in NIT around 24,500 seats, and in IIIT 7,500, and the Central Funded Institute 6,000 seats are there. So these are the seats. Now coming to the expected cutoff. Compared to the last year, this time JE mains exam, the First 27th morning and evening shift papers are easy. And today's paper is compared to 27th, that is 29th paper I'm talking. Uh, compared to 27th paper, it is hard, but not like uh, last year. Last year, all the, uh, at least out of three, two, uh, three subjects, two are hard. But the year, only maths is hard this time. So this clearly indicates that uh, uh, the percentile will change and that to last year around 11 lakh students wrote. Because percentile depends upon the number of students who appeared. So this time, already registered candidates are 12 lakhs in the first examination. So it is expected that around 12 lakh students will uh, appear for the JE means first and second part. More than that may also come. So depending upon that, percentile will vary. Percentile depends upon the total number of candidates who are writing the examination. So depending upon the percentile uh, changes means automatically for the advanced purpose, they are qualifying around 2,55,000 students. Out of that 50% is the reserved candidates of OBC, NCL, EWS, SC, ST and PWD. Remaining 50% category is the open category or forward cash we will say. So for that, uh, according to these papers and number of students appearing, it is general category 
uh, the percentile for the data, or you can say that required for the advanced writing will vary from 91 to 92. Around 91 to 92 percent, we are expecting a general category, open category cutoff. Whereas for OBC, NCL, non creamy layer student, it will be around 76 to 78. Some are doubt having, a, some are having a doubt that how much marks, marks also will take. Whereas with respect to OBC, NCL, there may be a chance of 76 to 78 may be cut off. EWS 77 to 79 will be cut off. SC will be 51 to 53 and ST will be 35 to 37. These are the expected cutoff. Expected cutoff, it depends upon the next papers also. And that too, they are conducting the April session also. This is the first session only over. This uh, week, they are conducting the first. And uh, again, they are conducting on the April also. So depending upon the total sessions, it may small changes may occur. But these are the expected 91 to 92 for open category. OBC NCL 76 to 78. EWS 77 to 79. SC 51 to 53. ST 35 to 37. Whereas next point, with respect to Mark's point of view, if you take, depending upon, depending upon the three papers, three papers indicate 27th morning, evening and 28th morning paper, depending upon that based general category, if you are getting around 95 to 100 marks, plus or minus 5. Why I am talking about plus or minus 5 means? So easiest paper is there, plus 5 you have to add. Hardest paper is there, 95 minus 5, 90 marks. Hardest paper, for example, today's paper, if you get 90 marks also, 29th morning paper, if you get 90 also, you'll get a qualified for the advance. So for a general category, 95 to 100 plus or minus 5. OBC NCL, 80 to 87. EWS, 85 to 90 marks, I'm talking with respect to marks point of view. EWS 85 to 90, SC 70 to 75 marks, and ST 66 to 60 marks. So overall picture, if we take, compared to last year, around 10 marks change is there, because compared to last year, these papers are little easy. So this is about the cutoff marks we are expecting. Next thing is, the according to these three papers, the, with respect to percentage and marks, if you take those who are getting 100 percent, definitely one rank. Whereas 99 to 100 percent, 99 percent to 100 percent, the rank will vary from 8700 to 100. Plus or minus 100. Plus or minus 100 will be there. 98 to 99, it will be 17400 to 8700. 97 to 98, it will be 26,100 to 17,400. 96 to 97, 34,800 to 26,100. 95 to 96 percentile, if you get percentile, I'm talking. Then the rank will be around 43,500 to 34,800. Whereas if you take 94 to 95 percentile, then 52,200 to 43,500 and so on. If you take 89 to 90 percentile, it will be 95,400 to 86,700. If it is 90 to 91, 86,000 to 78, 91 to 92, which is we are expecting as the cutoff for the advance, it will be around 78,000 to 69,000. This is about the cutoff. And uh, uh, for approximation purpose, if you take 99 percentile marks, it will be 180 to 190 plus or minus 10. Plus or minus 10 will be 99 percentile. Whereas 98 percentile will be 150 to 160. 155 to 160 plus or minus 5 here. Only plus or minus 5. 97 percentile, if you take 145 to 155 marks, 97 percentile if you want, you should get 145 to 155. That will be plus or minus 5. Up to 97 is very important because you will get a NIT series. So, if it is a 99 percentile, 99.9 percentile, a good wonderful seat. A prestigious institute, prestigious college. Whereas 99 percentile also you will get a good college but not a good brand. Whereas 98 percentile also you are having a chance up to 97 percentile, you are having a chance of getting a seat into a NAT. NAT, a branded branded branch means 99 percent, no doubt. 
Whereas 95 percentile 120 to 130, I am talking. Why I am talking about 120 to 130 means in a triple IT seeds will get. Triple IT seeds. Whereas 90 to 95 plus or minus pi is a qualified mass. These are the major things you have to remember for the expected rank and mass. Once again, I am repeating all these are expected only and uh, where to this percentiles will be given on February 10th for the first session and in April after second session is over, then percentile will come, then rank will come, then only the cutoff will be given. Again, once again, I am talking about the cutoffs. General cutoff is expected 91 to 92, OBC, NCL 76 to 78, EWS 77 to 79, SC, F, SC category student 51 to 53, and ST 35 to 37. With respect to marks point of view, general category student, if they got 95 to 100 plus or minus point, they will be qualified for the advance. Whereas OBC, NCL 80 to 87, EWS 85 to 90, SC, ST students 70 and 60. These are the expected cutoff for the exam. To get an idea, the last year general cutoff, the last year general cutoff is 90.77, which we are expecting around 92 this year for Sunday. For a general category cutoff, the last year is 90.77, which we are expecting around 92 this year. Next year, OBC NCL is around 73.61 last year. Now we are expecting 75 cents. Whereas if it is EWS, it is the last year 75.8. Now we are expecting 77 to 79. Whereas SCST is 5137, which we are expecting 60 less. So these are the last year percentages. And to get idea, last year actual marks. Last year actual mark. To get an idea, last year actual marks, I'm telling. So around 170 marks, because around what I am talking means, percentile will be up to 8, 8 decimals, 99.0001 or 99.111, so many decimals will be there, depending upon the overall marks, overall marks, then math, physics, chemistry, in order, age, etc. So depending upon that, 99 percentile is around 170 marks. Normalized marks. Normalized marks, there is a meaning again. So, normalized marks 170 indicate that if it is easy paper, it will be 180 marks around, and if it is hard paper, it will be around 160. Normalized. All the papers are normalized. So, next if we take 98 percent, approximately 144 marks last year. 97, this is actual percentile and marks again, the last year. 97 percentile is around 127. After normalization, 127 marks is equal to 97 percentile. 96 percentile is 111 marks, whereas 95 percentile is 101 marks. 94 percentile is 98. 93 percentile is 93 marks, whereas 92, 85. And 91, it is 78, because which is the last year's. Uh, uh, cut off, advanced cut off only. So now very carefully observe it. This only, this year we increased because the papers are easy. We are increasing the cut off as 91 to cut off. Marks is increased 10 to 15 ma uh, uh, marks because the papers are easy. Compared to last year, these three papers are easy. So now very carefully observe it. Last year actual marks after normalization is 99 percent is 170. 96 percentile is 111, 91 percentile is 78 marks means last year the students who got 78 marks are qualified in the advance. Whereas this year we are expecting around 95 plus or minus 5 also means 90. So that is the thing. So these are the things, it's my small changes may occur because this year the two things is occurring mainly. One is papers are little easy but the number of students who are appearing is more than the last year. More than the last year. So, automatically the rank will vary, percentile will vary, category uh, cutoff will vary. So, that you have to remember. And generally, I am talking 200 marks, those who got wonderful seat in the NIT, any good branch, computer science, all good colleges will get. And 180 marks, you will get a seat. 150 marks also, you will get a NIT college, but not a good college, not a good branch. Whereas around 120 to 130 marks, you will get a triple 80 seats. 
So anyhow, the college last year's cutoffs and the various institutes will discuss after one week.